Creating e-signatures on Mac, a step-by-step -step guide. Welcome back to the official PDF Element YouTube channel. In our previous video, we introduced e-sign on PDF Element 10 for Windows. Today, we're excited to showcase the new e-sign features available on the Mac version. Let's start with a question. Have you ever had to deal with the hassle of requesting digital signatures on important documents? Managing tasks like these can be quite overwhelming due to the coordination, security, and accessibility issues that may arise. From never-ending email threads to juggling multiple scattered documents, this process can easily become a real headache. Moreover, there's a huge challenge that many of the people who have never requested digital signatures have come across, legal documents. Usually, these documents need password protection, and sharing these passwords to allow editing privileges for those who need to sign them poses a risk we cannot accept whether in our businesses or the legal sector. Sharing passwords in any context is never recommended. When it comes to legal documents, which often contain sensitive data for everyone involved, safeguarding that information should be our top priority. In this video, I'll show you the solution that PDF Element 10 offers to all of these problems. From now on, you can request signatures without complications, unnecessary risks, or complaint management processes. So grab a coffee, get comfortable, and join me as we delve into managing signature request capabilities of this powerful PDF element update. I promise that by the end of this video, you'll have a whole new perspective on how simple these tasks can be. Collecting signatures can be a stressful task, whether for administrative documents such as attendance records, memoranda, or inventory records, or for legal documents like contracts that need to be signed by executives and legal representatives of companies. But what makes such a simple process so complicated at the same time? Well, this is due to three main challenges. The first challenge is distance. In the past, the only way to request signatures was to have everyone in one place to sign, which made the process pretty simple. However, nowadays, with most people working from different locations around the world, requesting signatures has become more complex. We need to find ways to get people to sign remotely with as little technical complexity as possible. The second challenge is related to time. In many cases, traditional processes for collecting signatures can take a lot of time, often weeks. This happens especially when people are in different locations and different time zones. The need to coordinate schedules, send documents by postal mail, wait for people to sign, and sometimes correct errors in the documents adds a significant delay to the process. Finally, the third challenge is about security. It's crucial to ensure that documents remain unaltered, free from forgeries, and safe from unauthorized access. This is vital to maintain document privacy, authenticity, and validity while also preventing potential legal issues and preserving the integrity of our transactions and agreements. Fortunately, with the arrival of PDF Element 10, the rules of the game have changed forever. In this version, PDF Element introduces a new feature called Request eSign, designed to tackle these challenges and make the signature collection process more straightforward. How about we take a closer look to see what this feature can actually do to simplify the signature requesting process for us? From now on, when using PDF Element to open any PDF, you'll find the new Request eSign feature within the Protect tab. As soon as you click on this feature, you'll see a window pop up. What's most interesting at first glance is that at the top of this window, you'll notice a step progress bar that shows us the steps we should follow to successfully send a signature request. If you look closely, from the moment we arrive at this window, we are already at step two. This means that PDF Element has automatically designated the document we currently have open as the one we will use to request signatures, which means the next step is to introduce the email addresses of the people we'll be requesting the signatures from and write the message that they will receive. If the document requires your signature, simply select sign first or sign last. Now, you'll see a window like this. Pay attention to the panel on the right. At the top of this panel, in the recipient section, you'll find a list of the emails of the individuals you want to request signatures from. What we need to do now is place fields in our document that the recipients can sign. Thankfully, this is quite simple. All you have to do is select a recipient, choose a field, and click on a spot in the document where they must sign. When all the recipients have a place to sign, just click send, and you're good to go. It's pretty straightforward, don't you think? 
Furthermore, the ability to choose whether to sign and when to do it is a significant advantage. But what if we needed someone else to sign first? Imagine you're negotiating an agreement in which your company will provide a service to another. To avoid issues, it's necessary for your client to sign first. And once they do, you can proceed to collect the signatures of your collaborators. All of this, of course, is to ensure their compliance with the terms and conditions of the contract. Well, the request eSign feature has the perfect solution for this. The only thing you need to keep in mind when using the request eSign feature is that you must enter the email addresses of the individuals you need to sign in the exact order you want them to. Afterwards, check the send email in order box and you're all set. By selecting this option, PDF Element will ensure that the invitations are sent in the specific order that you have designated. So the second person on the list will only receive their invitation once the first person has signed and so on. And that's it. With the signature request sent, you just have to wait for others to sign. It was pretty simple, wasn't it? But how does it work for the others? What will your clients and collaborators see? All the contracts you've entered in the add recipient input field will receive an email that looks like this. That if you take a closer look, you'll notice it's an individual and personalized email, not just a simple forwarded invitation. The email subject will clearly indicate that it's a request to sign a document. In the body of the email, the message we entered earlier will be displayed along with a button that will guide them to the next step. As soon as they click on it, they will be redirected to a Wondershare Cloud PDF viewer where they can carefully and comfortably read the document. However, they won't be able to make any changes to it. When they are ready, they can click on the field you designated for their signature, then a small pop-up window will appear offering four different ways to sign. They can draw with their mouse or trackpad or touchscreen, type with their keyboards, or even use images. In your case, if you check the box to sign the document, you will have the same options to sign, but you will do so from the PDF element interface. Using images is without a doubt my favorite method because you can sign a piece of paper, take a photo, and use it to create a signature on the document. As you can see, the result is impeccable and it's completely indistinguishable from a handwritten signature. One thing worth mentioning is that individuals who have received a link to sign the document can use the download button to obtain an exact copy of the document in its current state. But that's not all. By using the details button, they can also see a log with all the document's activity. This not only fosters transparency, but also empowers your clients and collaborators with a deeper understanding of the process, ultimately enhancing their confidence and engagement. But wait a second, it seems that we're missing something. Speaking of transparency, what if you, your clients or collaborators need to update stakeholders who aren't signatories but should be kept informed, such as legal advisors or investors? Actually, there is something we can do about this. Right in the same step where you were entering email addresses for your recipients, pay attention to the Add CC option highlighted in blue. Just below the recipient's input field, by clicking on it, a new input field will appear, allowing you to input the email addresses for those who should stay informed. Every individual that you add here will receive an invitation to view the document with read-only access, no editing privileges and no ability to sign it. This link provides real-time updates on who has and hasn't signed. It's an excellent way to share the details of any agreement with those who need to be informed even if they don't have a role as legal representatives. Don't you think that's fascinating? Personally, I'm delighted that this new feature allows us to secure documents without the need for setting and sharing passwords. Furthermore, it grants the ability to assign signature permissions to some users while providing others with only reading permissions. But that's not all. Let me show you the tracking and management capabilities that this feature brings to the signature request process. The first thing you should know is that as soon as someone signs your document, you will receive an email notification mentioning who has signed your document. This is especially convenient because if you have notifications enabled on your phone, you can easily see who has signed without needing to be at your computer. On the other hand, from now on, in the main PDF element window, you will find a new tab called Agreement. In this tab, you will find a list of all the documents you have requested for signatures, along with information about the document status where you can preview how many people have signed it so far. When you open your documents from this tab, 
you will see a panel on the right hand side of the window with precise information about who still needs to sign, a summary of activity in the document, a download link, and an option to send a reminder to those who have yet to sign. Once your document has been signed by everyone, if you scroll down, you will find a new auto-generated page in your document with a detailed summary of all the activity that has occurred in the document. This includes information such as the names and IPs of those who signed, along with the time each one signed. Keep in mind that this agreement section syncs through the Wondershare cloud, allowing you to access all the documents you've requested signatures for, whether from the Windows or Mac version of PDF Element. Documents that have already been signed will have a legally binding digital certificate that attests to the authenticity of the signatures and the associated information. Now that we've tackled the security, accessibility and distance issues, the only thing left to deal with is the matter of time. Time is crucial, especially when it comes to legal documents. Regardless of whether you choose to send requests sequentially or not, the only potential slowdown at this point is that our clients or collaborators might delay reading the document due to their busy schedules, possibly leading to them forgetting about it. This stage can be tedious and you might not be excited about having to send them daily reminders for them to sign the document. But don't worry, PDF Element has a solution for you. By checking the set reminder box just below send email in order, you can schedule automatic email reminders for those who haven't signed yet. This not only saves the time and effort of writing daily emails, but also portrays a professional image of administrative efficiency, building former trust with your clients and collaborators. Well, that's everything about the new request eSign feature on PDF Element. Remember that this version is already available and you can download it for free from the App Store or the official PDF Element website to start experiencing for yourself just how much this application can do for you today. Personally, I consider Request eSign to be one of the most valuable additions in this version, as it simplifies a crucial process that used to be tedious and challenging. However, Request eSign is just a small part of what PDF Element 10 can offer. This recent update is truly packed with improvements that will make working with PDFs much easier, more convenient, and even more engaging. Before I say goodbye, I want to thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video. If you want to learn more about the new features that PDF Element has for you, subscribe to this channel and in the coming days, I'll be back to delve into those features. I promise that once you've tried them for yourself, you won't go without them. In the meantime, I encourage you to check out the other videos on this channel. You'll discover additional content just like this, where I share valuable tips and insights to help you unleash the potential of PDF Element. Have a great day and see you next time.